legitimately a real return to force i feel like the previous collection people had a lot of negative things to say but i feel like result 2025 as a lot of other companies a lot of other brands actually i saw burberry did really well daniel lee he's obviously somebody that i've spoken about very negatively on this channel before because you know generally a lot of his collections were pretty shit at burberry but he smashed it at burberry he did pretty well even pharrell he had the resort collection for louis vuitton looks really nice so i guess resort has been um, the season that everyone's kind of just you know recovered and basically reminded everybody about who they fucking are so here's Balenciaga's actual collection itself and the standout pieces for me are obviously some of these amazing stacked double sole shoes as you can see here these crazy obscene monstrous boots essentially it's the same boot that they have I think generally the striker boot or the army boot that they usually have but they've added this crazy like i guess nine inch maybe maybe nine inch sole on the bottom of them that make them look incredibly 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 high or not look they are incredibly incredibly high um and then of course you've got nice long trench coats and you've also got a collaboration with under armor that debut on this collection and there's also the addition of these really cool clutches I'm not too sure if anybody else will think they're cool, but I quite like them. So there's a shoe box, a Balenciaga shoe box done, a clutch, a clutch bag done in the style of a Balenciaga shoe box. I quite like that. I don't know. I don't know about you. Maybe people won't like that, but I quite like the idea of like carrying around a shoe box, but it's actually a clutch bag. Um, you see the boots there featured here that they're wearing. I guess they've got zips on both sides, so you can wear them kind of open and splayed. Um, they're probably going to make your ankle roll but I do like the fact that they kind of splayed out so your feet can kind of stabilize a bit one of my favorite looks in this collection is this these two looks here this is a very Y2K influence look look number 13 and then you've also got look number 14 here that just looks fucking fantastic let me actually get this up on the other tab so you can see what I mean because I think these two looks are fucking stupendous and we'll be doing absolute numbers out here on the streets of London when this collection does debut I think the blacks and the Asians are like and maybe some of the Middle Eastern brothers and sisters will be all over this fucking shit when they originally when it actually ends up dropping um, as you can see here very Y2K inspired um, this tracksuit thing kind of looks like Ed Hardy right it kind of looks like Ed Hardy it kind of looks like Echo it kind of looks like you know juicy couture like it's got that kind of vibe about it bedazzled loads of crazy foil print gold on the front um bedazzlements on the hood the nice fucking go faster stripes on the sleeves and shit the sweatpants tucked into the boots with the exaggerated sole like this looks hard 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 i'd wear the whole entire look that looks really fucking cool and you've also got a double zip down the hood to make it look really cool and and i also like the addition of this. this is a little minor detail but i like the fact that zip hop hoods have no drawstrings on the hoodie no one needs a drawstring you just wear the hood over your head and that's it you don't need a fucking drawstring on your hood and obviously you've got some frayed and distressed um effects here on the seams itself but definitely a sick look in that regard um and then you've also got this look that i've also was a big fan of um look number 14 might be one of my favorite looks um this reminds me a lot of the kids that i kind of grew up with in my part of london where you kind of wear your tracksuit pants underneath your jeans it's a look that people did i think they kind of did them because a lot of the kids were skinny and you wanted to fill out your trousers or just show off that you had a pair of nike pants but you'd wear your pants your sorry your tracksuit trousers underneath your jeans and then you'd have your jeans obviously sagging so you could see a little bit of the track pants and then your jeans sagging that's something a lot of the kids or a lot that we did when we were growing up in my part of london so i like that kind of spin there and then you've got this um under armor balenciaga collaboration hoodie there you've also got the clutch that's made in the style of of a box of shoes and you've also got the addition of the boots as you can see they're really high crazy boots I, i'd wear the fuck out of these though these look fucking insane really weird really uncomfortable probably to wear soft leather probably at the front i guess um i like the, i like the hole in the middle i wonder if the hole in the middle is to kind of make them lighter or is to add to the stability maybe that's a kind of cheeky cheat way to kind of make them a little bit more functional if that makes any sense but there's a massive hole in the midsole right through the middle so i wonder if that's like a, a design thing or if that's just something that you do just to kind of add a bit of flair to make them look a bit different or maybe that's what you do when you make those double sole shoes who knows either way they look fucking sick um one of my favorite looks in the entire collection so i really like those um 
you've got some cool glasses here featured and you've also got this which is really cool you've got the addition of these really strange um bags that are done in the style of a jacket or like of a jumper so that particular one there you see there's some more of a jacket style over like a tote bag that's done in the style of a jumper you've got a tote bag that's done in the style of a duffel coat i wonder if it's also multi-use maybe you can actually wear the coat but it looks so you got there there's a duffel you've got there a bag done in the style of a leather leather jacket that's that's a really cool design i'm not really mad at, at all you've got another one that's done in the style of a parka i love this black parka here I love a few of these looks here. Look number 24 and 22 look really cool. Um, again, this oversized shirt looks nice. Number 28 looks really cool as well. Some great, great, great details all over here featured. Some nice caggles there with a nice long strap. I don't know why I've always been a fan of this sort of stuff when you're walking down the street with a strap hanging down. I love the look of that also. A nice tote bag, nice hats again. Great overcoats. This shirling jacket here. Look number 40 is fucking brilliant. Um, I'm also coming around to the idea of socks with high heels before I wasn't really aesthetically a big fan of them but now I've seen them again and again and again this kind of like trashy look with the socks over the tights worn with the heels I like it I just don't like when the fucking feet are really pressing against the socks so I guess you have to ensure that you don't have the shoes are not too small and shit i guess um whatever um also a nice little overgown here again look number 48 i love the look of that um this bag on look number 43 and 44 is really cool as well nice sunglasses again you've got another oakley collaboration there with this reappropriated redesigned kind of skirt situation parker bag thing on look number 50 it looks fucking cool and just a really strong finish towards look number 57 and onwards but one of the big things to come from this collection one of the big things to come from this collection one of the big things to come from this collection no pun intended no pun intended aside from the boots that i showed you aside from the boots that i've shown you or spoken about on this particular pod one of the other big things to come from this particular collection has been the exaggerated trainers i want to show if you guys have seen these trainers let me see if i can get them up there you go so look at these trainers that balenciaga have done they've taken their already exaggerated crazy trainer silhouette that you know them for and they've made the sole even thicker than what you're used to even thicker even thicker if you thought that sole was thicker no this sole is way more thicker so this is look number 16 in Balenciaga resort 2025 and look at these fucking shoes look at how crazy that sole is can you see that that legitimately might be like four or five midsoles put on one shoe and there's actually a far better picture of them here courtesy of the one and only hype beast that shows the shoe in a far better light look at these platform sneakers look at them courtesy of hypebeast look at how crazy and gargantuan and just insanely nonsensical these things look <laughs> it's like they fucking squashed and morphed like four different midsoles in together i fucking love it i really do love it they look so insane they look so nutty that i would actually wear them i'm not gonna lie they look so fucking ridiculous um definitely something that i'd be into wearing so let me see some more pictures of them you see them here from the side and they've also maintained the distressing so it's not even just they just added the soles on them they've also maintained that pre-distressed age look by making the midsole a bit dark and stuff and roughing them up on the sides that looks pretty cool and of course you've got the laces on top which i'm sure don't really do much because it's more of a sock design than a la lace is just there for style um or aesthetic basically but you don't really probably need laces they probably got a sock design you can just put your foot in it and it's pretty fine but those are fucking crazy isn't it look at them they legitimately like i think your actual foot might be about here judging by how it's shaped your actual foot might come around here so where this balenciaga sign is there your actual foot might come around here that's where it is there right there and then all of this is fucking extra soul extra midsole and it depends maybe what they should have done to make these more comfortable if they're not comfortable is maybe made the sh the outside look like they're separate soles but then on the inside it's a one piece really soft sort of like pu midsole type of thing that might help but again i haven't worn them so i won't know maybe they do they are quite comfortable and it's got like this sock upper as well at the top which is nice too because it makes them lighter um because there's all this mass here you don't need to have extra paneling here so they've got this sort of like sock lining thing at the top here that makes them a little bit easier to slip on and off but 
they are fucking insane. They are legitimately, legitimately insane. What I hope you say about these shoes, um, sitting on a six inch platform. So technically 6.2 inches, the label's new platform sneaker elevates its um, wearers to previous to impressive new heights, uh, blah, blah, blah. Crafted from mesh underlays, the sneakers are breathable despite the overwhelmingly layered look. Dipped in hues of red, silver, and black, the silhouette takes a rounded shape. Um, check out the sneaker gallery below. So I, I, I can't wait to see what they look like in other colorways as well um i'm eager to see what they end up looking like no idea when they're going to release exact dates and stuff but i think these are going to be really popular when they do drop i think they're going to be really fucking popular when they do fucking drop so big up balenciaga for those i love the resort collection fucking fire and i can't wait to see most of the stuff when it does end up in the stores sooner rather than later